Okay, let's take a look at a physical analogy of magnetic induction. Here we have our neodymium iron boron, one inch cube in 50 gauss. And I assume you all remember this toy. They're just steel pins with a plexiglass top. Just hundreds and hundreds of steel pins. So, why does a magnet need to sweep a dielectric reflector at a fast speed? Why, when you sweep a magnet across a copper coil, very slowly you get little to no induction? Well, let's look at a physical analogy of this. Here we have our steel pins and here we have our magnet. Let's drag it across the pins and see what happens. Uh-oh, nothing happens. Why is that? Well, because the poles are marked in white. I'm dragging the dielectric inertial plane across the pins. There is very little to no magnetic induction there, so... Now let's try it the real way. These steel pins representing the dielectric inertial plane are the copper windings. And our magnet, of course, representing the magnet. Each pole is marked with white electrical tape. Now let's represent very slowly bringing a magnet to, you see we only got about five or six pins that time because I very, very slowly dropped it onto the pins. Did you see that? Now let's see the difference between slow and fast and what that has to do with induction when regarding magnets and copper winding coils. Slow. Very slow. Just a few pins, okay? Now let's take a look at fast, like a sweep, ma sweep ma uh, a magnet fastly sweeping across several hundred windings of copper. Look! About four times as many pins. Let's take a look at that again. Slow. Just a few pins. Now let's look at it fast. Look at that. Now if you notice, you look closely, you'll see that some of the pins in the center are raised up, some around the periphery. So you got about five times as many pins lifted. Magnetic induction over time. Slow. Fast. See the difference? huge difference. This is what's happening in, happening in an AC generator as the magnet is sweeping over the copper windings very fast. That. This is why you get very little to no induction as you slowly bring the magnet to the inductive material. Now this is magnetic induction in steel pins. To have the correct analogy for copper windings, this dielectric inertial plane, the action of these nails, would actually be in this direction. Electrification would be going this way, instead of the nail shooting up this way. And our analogy of electrification of a copper windings and a magnet, the uh, dielectric, I mean the magnet, uh, the electrical current is traveling this way. Okay, that's our physical analogy of magnetic induction, slow versus fast. Slow versus fast. Look at that. Five times or, five times or more as many nails rise up as well. If you notice, you'll actually also see that nails around the periphery rose up some. That is... The speed of induction over time in an additive fashion in determining electrification. This is a physical analog for what is occurring in electrification except for an electrification the current or nails quote unquote in our analogy is traveling this way instead of up this way. Let's take a look at that one more time. I assume you all remember this toy. They probably don't sell it anymore. I haven't seen it in a very long time. Slow and fast. Thanks for watching and don't forget our upcoming segments. Maybe a six part, maybe a ten part series explaining 
Uh, the book, Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism. I'll be using a gigantic beast over here that you can't see. It's a 6 inch by 2 inch $800 magnet. She's slightly dangerous, but she's extremely useful in demonstrating the vortex nature of magnetic fields. And we'll be talking about field incommensurability. We'll be talking about the precession rate. For the very first time ever, you will truly have an understanding in your mind, geometrically, sensibly, logically, as to the nature of magnetism. Thanks for watching.